Have you thought about getting into investing recently? Perhaps lately all of your friends have started investing and you feel kind of left out. Maybe you feel like you missed the greatest opportunity of your life by not starting during this recent flash crash. What? What the f or maybe you just feel overwhelmed by all of this investing stuff. Then let me or us help you. Today I will be showing you the five steps I believe every new investor should take before they start investing their hard earned money. Number one. You might want to pick up a book or two on the subject. We have a video where I go through the books I personally recommend for beginners, which I will link in the description. Now I do not mean that you have to read 10 books on investing before you can start, but I do think that everyone should take investing seriously enough to get a good understanding of the fundamentals. Knowledge. Lucky for you, you are already on the right YouTube channel for that. So I don't know. Subscribe maybe. Could we interest you in some chocolate? In my opinion, you can go right ahead and get started with investing while you simultaneously learn more about investing. This will make you more motivated to learn about investing as well as motivate you to apply what you learn. It's a nice positive feedback loop. You gonna learn today! Number two, get started. Now this relates to the previous point. For me personally, I wanted to get into investing for a long, long ass time, but I, I was scared. I was just scared to start. Just get started and invest a small amount of money. Just take it slow in the beginning, decide an amount of money you feel comfortable potentially losing in case things go terribly, terribly wrong. Or if you want to, you can even open a training account. We have a full video on this, which I will link in the description as well. But the basic idea is that you can buy fake stocks for fake money. Then you can track how well you do over a period of time so that you get the hang of the basics without risking your own money. It is something I did and it is something I recommend, especially if you want to try to pick individual companies to invest into, which actually segues nicely into number three. How much time do you want to put into this? Now here you gotta be real honest with yourself. Is this something that you could see yourself spending closer to 1000 hours getting good at? You gonna learn knowledge. Plus continue spending at least a few hours each week to maintain a good understanding of the companies you invest into. If the answer is yes, good for you, go right ahead, throw yourself in, but realize that it will not be easy and you probably have a long, long road ahead. But thankfully, investing is a fantastic skill to learn when it comes to your financial life since it synergizes so well with basically everything else you do financially. The more you earn, the more you can invest, which in turn can earn more money for you, and so on. Now, if instead the answer is no, do not worry, there is still a great way for you to participate in the overall gains of the market. You wanna know how? Are you ready kids? Just buy our $99 How to Invest Without Effort Starter Pack. Just kidding, just kidding. I am of course talking about index funds. We have a great video on index funds, which I will link in the description. The basic idea is that instead of buying just a handful of companies, you can partake in a larger fund that invests in all of the largest companies in a country or even globally, if that suits your fancy. However, the most important thing, regardless of which investing approach you choose, is going to be number four know thyself. This is something I tried to cover in the video 25 ways to be less stupid, which covers the 25 most common biases us humans fall prey to. You'll also find that in the description. Why is this so important you may ask? Well, as you often find in life, you are your own worst enemy. Your fears, your excitement, your tendency to jump to conclusions, all of these things can kill your investing career. This is why I really recommend you to spend at least some time learning about psychology. Not only will your investments benefit, but almost every aspect of your life will. Now, finally. Patience, my young Padawan. Investing will not make you rich in a day, month, year or sometimes not even a decade, but it will help you out immensely with your overall accumulation of wealth. Another one of the most beneficial things about investing for me personally, it has really helped me to have a more long-term vision for my life. While investing will not give you instant economical freedom, it will form a nice foundation on which you can begin to build your financial life. If you want to know more about how me and Marcus first got started, please check out this video.